kiss for you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to my another video series on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part two of my video series on Google Drive API using Android Studio. Alright, guys. So, in the previous part, or I mean the first part of the video series, I we had uh, included the all the dependencies, and then we added the uh, the user permission inside our Android manifest file. And now we are going to write the and start the actual uh programming for our app so basically we have uh, this up upload button and when the user will click on this upload button the pdf file will be uploaded to the google drive api uh, okay so before that we need to have the uh, we need to authenticate the uh, user for his gmail account so in order to do that okay so before that before we uh, dive it into it we need to use the java 1.8 i mean the java 8 so in order to include the java uh, version 1.8 in your android studio what you need to do is you need to go to your application uh, tag and after inside this uh, i mean the android tag and here we need to write compile options and inside this compile options we need to write source compatibility and there we need to define it like java version dot version one underscore eight and similarly for our target compatibility we can use java version dot one underscore eight all right so that is the way so now we will, we will click on sync now and after that we first of all uh, need to uh, write the function that will authenticate the user so for that we are going to write the code for request sign in and there we will create a function that will first of all authenticate the user or I mean sign in the user so for that here we can write Google sign in options and we first of all need to use the sign in options and it will be equal to new Google uh, sign in options dot builder and there inside it we can write Google sign in options dot default sign in and then here we can write dot request email then we can say dot request uh, request scopes and inside this we need to have a new scope so we can say new scope and here we can write drive scopes dot drive file and make sure that you select uh, this one this scope uh, com dot google dot android dot gms all right and finally we can say dot build all right so now we have the sign in options and now we need to use the google sign in client so we can say google sign in client and we can name it as client and we can say equal to google sign in dot get client and here we will have we will we will need to pass the context of our recurrent activity so in this case we will pass this and then we can write sign in options all right and finally we can say start activity for result and there we can write client dot get sign in intent and then we can pass our request code so in this case we can have 400 all right so now we need to override the method on activity result and here inside uh, this activity we are going to write the code for switch and there we can write request code and then here we can write case 400 and we first of all need to use break because i always 
forget to add the break statement okay so here we can check if our result code is result okay so all we need to do is now we need to handle our sign in intent so for that we can say handle sign in intent and there we there we need to pass the data intent to it all right so now hover the mouse towards this function and click i mean uh, press the button alt enter and here you can create automatically the function and inside this uh, handle sign in intent mm -hmm. method we are going to handle our sign in intent so for that we can use google sign in dot get signed in account from intent and there we can uh, pass the data here and then we can say add on success listener and there we can say new on success listener and there we can say add on failure listener and then we can say add on failure listener sorry guys alright so inside this on success method uh, it will mean that the okay so it will uh, mean that it is uh, already I mean this uh, the user has successfully signed in so we now need to have we now have this Google sign in account here so here we need to use the credentials so for that we can say google account credential and then we can say credential equal to google account credential dot using o or two let me just write it here okay so inside this using out two we now need to pass in first of all the context so we can simply pass this and then we can simply say collections dot singleton and here we can pass our drive scopes dot drive file all right so in this case it is uh, saying an error because we need to uh, write correct name for our main activity so we can say main activity dot this all right so after this we uh, we now have the credential here and now we can simply say credential dot set selected account and there we can provide google uh, sign in account dot get account okay so we have set uh, the selected account and then we now need to use the drive api so if we can say drive google drive service equal to new drive dot builder and inside this we can first of all need to write some uh, we need to pass uh, first of all the transport so we can say android http dot new compatibility uh, new compatible transport and then we need to write new json factory then we need to pass in the credential and then we can write dot set application name and then we can say my drive tutorial and finally we can write dot build alright so now we have this google drive uh, service so it is saying an error here let me just remove it okay so now it, the error is removed so now we have this google drive uh, service here so alright so i think uh, that is enough for uh, this video so in this video we had we have just used the google uh, sign in so that the user uh, authenticates his email 
from the selected accounts inside his smartphone so all right okay guys so in my next part of the video series we will create a new class and that will be the java class so let me just write it uh, quickly so here we can have drive service and we can write helper all right so now we will write the code to upload the file uh, okay so first of all uh, here we will we will write a method that will uh, receive the path of the file and then we can use this path to upload it to our google drive account all right guys so i hope that you have understood uh, something if you have any uh, problem or any question so you can just uh, send me a message and i will get back to you soon all right if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you